Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and today's video we're going to be looking at how to enable BitLocker on a Windows 10 system. And the reason why I want to do this video you guys is because on our previous video we actually saw how to reset a Windows password with the help of the CHN TPW tool or the utility that comes within the Kali Linux operating system. One of the fences that we can use here, obviously we can use BitLocker, you guys. It's a form of encryption that pretty much, you know, encrypts all your hard drive on your Windows 10 system. Now this is also available in other types of operating systems or versions of Windows. In this case, I'm talking about 7, 8, 10, and also servers. Now, the only difference is that it's only available for Pro and Enterprise and I believe it also comes in the ultimate versions of Windows now if you want to look into BitLocker a little bit more you guys all you have to do is go to your start menu and just basically type in uh, BitLocker and you should see an option which it says manage BitLocker this is gonna actually open up this window here where you can actually turn on BitLocker on your hard drive now you also have the ability to actually turn on BitLocker for other drives and for removable data drives as well. Now as you can see in the circle you can actually just turn on the BitLocker just from here and it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward you guys. At this point once you click on it it is going to tell you how do you want to back up your recovery key. Really important you guys please keep this key somewhere safe somewhere that you can get to it just in case of an emergency just in case you forget your password or your pin or anything like that now as you can see I couldn't actually save it on the local drive because that's pretty obvious because how I'm gonna save it in my local drive since I'm going to encrypt it right if I can't get into it how I'm gonna get to the recovery key right so again you guys what is recommended to do is actually save the file to a removal device and then you can actually cop that recovery key I don't know to the cloud or somewhere else an off-site storage or whatever so now in this option here it's is going to ask you choose how much of your drive to encrypt now I'm gonna go ahead and go with the second option because I'm gonna encrypt the entire drive it's gonna be slower you guys but I like to encrypt everything that's just my preference so at this point it's going to ask you if you are ready to encrypt this drive and don't forget to check the run BitLocker system check. Make sure that is checked and once you have that go ahead and click start encrypting or continue in this case right. So at this point BitLocker is starting to encrypt your drive or actually before it actually does that it does require a reboot. So once you reboot it's going to actually tell you that it's encrypting your drive. Now, if you either go to the start menu and just basically type in BitLocker, you you want to go onto the Manage BitLocker window again. And at this point, what you can see here is that BitLocker is currently encrypting the C drive. Now, again, you guys, just to recap, you can also choose to turn on BitLocker on a different drive, and you can actually do that as well for removal data drives as well. And this is the BitLocker to go. So it's pretty convenient if you want to encrypt something, right? So again, you guys, if you forgot to save the key or the recovery key to a removable device, you can pretty much back up just by clicking on that option that you see here. Now, if you go over to your right bottom, you're going to see like a lock with keys in your tray. And if you click on it, it's going to give you a little window here where it actually says that it's encrypting your C drive and it actually tells you a percentage as to where it is at or the status in this case, right? So uh, if you want to you want to keep that open just to, you know, just to look at here and there to see where it's at, you can also do that. All right, it looks like it's almost at 100%, you guys. So we're just going to wait here just a few minutes or a few seconds here just for BitLocker to finish encrypting the C drive. All right, you guys, the encryption has been completed and all we can do here is actually close this window and continue to actually set up this BitLocker. It is also recommended, you guys, to have the TPM module on your hardware, which is a piece of hardware where pretty much it contains or actually does certain functions for more advanced security features. And in this case, if you have the TPN module, it is recommended to enable it. 
and to actually enable that you're gonna have to go to the bio settings and enable it there now in order to find out if you have a TPM module or not you can actually go to the start menu and type in device manager and you're going to see some security devices and you might have a drop down there and if you do go ahead and click on the drop down and what you see is you're either going to have something like the trusted platform module along with the version of it so again you guys it is recommended to have the TPM module but if you don't have it that's okay you guys you can actually enable BitLocker without it and I'm going to show you how to do that it's recommended to have the TPM module lastly what we're going to do is hit the Windows plus the R key and this should bring up the run command and we're gonna type in gpedit.msc and that should bring up the following window here which is the local group policy editor so now I'm going to go ahead and maximize this window and we're going to go over to the computer configurations and the administrative templates onto the Windows components and lastly we're going to go onto the BitLocker drive encryption. Now once you locate that go ahead and click on it and you're going to see some various options over to your right panel. Now you're going to click on the operating system drives and you're going to select the re require additional authentication at startup. You're going to click enable and make sure you click that checkbox as well. At this point, we're pretty much using the BitLocker without the TPM, and that is totally fine, you guys. So the lastly, we are going to issue a pin for us to use at, at startup whenever Windows is going to start. But before it actually starts, it's going to give us a prompt where we have to submit our pin number here and in order to access the Windows drive and for Windows to boot up normally so at this point you're gonna issue your own pin you guys and once you actually do that just go ahead and you know set the pin number there and at this point we are good to go you guys BitLocker should be working and if you want to test this out make sure you have your recovery key somewhere safe somewhere you can access it and don't forget to actually remember what pin you you just did right so at this point like I said if you want to test that out you can pretty much reboot your machine and once it reboots is going to this BitLocker screen that you see right here and you're pretty much gonna submit your pin and at that point you're going to be able to log in into your Windows system as normal as you did previously now Again, you guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to smack that subscribe button below or onto the screen right here where it has my um, channel logo on there. So make sure to smack that. Enable notifications if you want to, you know, get notified of future videos. And again, you guys, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.